Hi guys, welcome back to Junris Blagada Reaction. For today's video reaction, let's go to our favorite country which is Russia. Private and special to our Russian friends. How are you all guys if you're and you are doing well and amazing and the title of this video as you can see on my thumbnail and uh, this is an SBR Zaslon loadout, the most secretive special forces of Russia. Oh my god, this is very interesting video because we have to know why this is a very secretive uh, special forces of Russia and credit to the owner also with the video to Oxide. I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video. And if you're new to my channel, just click on subscribe button, click on notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads. And if you have some comments and suggestions related to this video or any Russian video that you can suggest, please drop it in the comment section. I'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video requests. And let's get to know first with this amazing uh, information with this video, guys, before we will be starting. What is Zazlon? Zaslon, this is a Russian or former USSR BRLS 8B Zaslon, a barrier, is an all-weather multi-mode multi airborne radar development between 1975 and 1980 by the Tokhomerov Scientific. Oh, wow. What does Zaslon do? Zaslon was mainly conceived to protect diplomats and foreign operations conducted by the SVR, the unit's responsibility are as follows, armed protection of Russian diplomatic missions abroad, primarily on hostile region environments, environ, uh, primarily in hostile region environments protect high-ranking Russian officials on foreign trips. It's like a security but is on a higher level. What is Zaslon? Is Zaslon real? Zas lone barrier or screen is a highly secretive unit which falls under the Sluzva. Venisene Reski VSBR or Russian Civilian Foreign Intelligence Service. According to Russia expert Mark Galyuti, Zaslon was unofficially established in 1997 by a secret presidential decree. 1997 by a secret presidential decree before it became fully uh, operational in 1998. So this is just new, only like a uh, two decades and wow i am so excited to know more about this one guys and i would like to say thank you to all the people who came in our previous reaction and leave their comments i'll put in here uh, please turn on the cc down there for your russian and english subtitle let's get to it enjoy and i would love to listen with you at the comment section what are your thoughts with regards to this video zaslon of if you have some additional comments and information with this one let's get to it. Wow. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Russia's Private. Foreign Intelligence Service, the SVR, is one of the direct successors to the KGB. And that's probably why nobody believed the former director of the SVR, Sergei Lebedev, when he stated to the Russian news agency Interfax that the SVR doesn't have any reconnaissance and sabotage units in its directorates. On the other hand, the SVR does have a very secretive Spitsnaz team that allegedly deals with the much more defensive task of personal security called Zaslon. Wow. Zaslon, meaning barrier or screen, is an SVR controlled unit that specializes in security for the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This unit is very unusual in many respects, including their gear, weapons, and mission, not to mention their secrecy. In this video, we will examine a few distinct loadouts of the SVR's Zaslon bodyguard unit. Zaslon oh itself is recognizable among other units for their prolific use of Blackhawk high-performance fighting uniforms in all of drab with their internal turnkit system. Although much of their kit varies, this specific uniform has been consistently used and is a great way to identify the unit. Another wow. great way to do that is through the more obvious Embassy of Russia patches that are prolific among Zaslon officers who are primarily attached to Russian embassies where there is war or unrest. This is not unlike similar American CIA teams that are attached to fellow U.S. embassies. A third identifier for identifying Zaslon is the armor that they employ. Most recently, that would be the Gray Fort Technologies Goblet, or Hoplite, plate wow. carrier. This carrier is usually only used by Zaslon and the Russian Army's KSSO Special Forces. It comes in several different variants, most prevalent being the slick version that can install a Mali placard for pouches. 
although one of our goblets was modded by its original owner to accept swift clips. The goblet contains a Gost 6A plate that is backed by soft armor. Moving on to the helmets, wow, yeah. when Zasson actually wears them, they typically go with a high-cut Classcom Tor helmet with black helmet covers. These helmets are rated BR1 for steel core 9x18 Makarov rounds. Oh In practice, that's roughly NIJ3A. Zaslan does not typically use the arc rails. Something Zaslan does typically use, though, would be the modern 762 AK variants, the AK-103 and the Carbine AK-104. Bravo. As Zaslan primarily works outside of Russia, it makes sense for this unit to stick to a more locally found ammo type. The drum mags, on the other hand, evade explanation, but are quite relevant among officers. The drums might be substituting an actual machine gun. Zaslan's AK-104s are not always accessorized, but can be seen in typical Zeneco or Fab Defense attire AK when the rifle isn't left in stock configuration. AK-74s and Vityaz submachine guns also make sporadic appearances, though I've never seen a Vityaz in use by the unit outside of training. Before we continue, I believe it is necessary to give a shout out to the people involved with this project, specifically Ahmed Hassan of Grey Dynamics, who teamed up with me to produce this video and its wow. accompanying article. This video, as you've seen, primarily focuses on the gear and weapons of Zaslan, but if you want to know even more about the unit as well as some of its previous operations, check out this article in the pinned comment below. Hassan's work is probably very familiar to any enthusiasts watching, as he wrote an earlier article for Soft Rep on Zaslan. His new article goes into even finer detail, and I helped a little. I would also like to thank the gear store GreyShop.ru for generously providing the ammo for this project at a time when ammo is particularly expensive. And finally, the airsoft accessory store Dasi for providing loadouts and acting as Zaslan in this video. The three distinct loadouts themselves, shown here, represent Zaslan officers from different periods. Baghdad 2013, Syria 2016, oh, nice. and the modern day. Rare, low-profile Defender armored vests in sand colors seen here are sometimes worn by Zaslan and those they escort. Even earlier in the decade, you can also this find Zaslan so officers in green Mali Defenders and more American-made green uniforms, this time by TrueSpec. Defenders have a pretty interesting plate and Kevlar system. If you're interested in seeing one ballistically tested, or the plates that are typically found in goblets tested, definitely subscribe, as a video that shows how these armor systems perform should be out on this channel sometime this month. As Zaslan ages, it becomes more well known, and the SVR no longer denies the existence of its special unit, though there are several articles that note the potential of Zaslan being used for sabotage and espionage operations. In the last two decades, Zaslan hasn't yet reached its mandate of protecting Russian embassies and diplomatic personnel in dangerous areas abroad, at least as far as we know. Thank you for watching. In addition to the body armor, I'd also like to test Zaslan's helmet, among other extremely modern Russian helmets in use by their special forces. These helmets are quite expensive, and I would really appreciate a donation from you on coffee.com slash oxide in order to raise funds to acquire and ballistically test these helmets. Goodbye. Oh wow, thank you so much Oxide, the owner of this video, for uploading with this one. This is a very informative uh, video all about the Secretive Special Forces. So it's not anymore a secretive because it was shown on uh, YouTube. And like seeing those different type from like 2013, 2016 and now, the gear that they are using, of course, from time to time, people from Russia, especially these special forces, who so protect with those special uh, persons, uh, political or high political position in Russia, they should wear something that can protect with them during if there are like war or exchange of fires that uh, they can truly protect the country and the people that they are protecting. And wow, the things that they are using, it's so highly advanced. And like you can see this machine or these things that they are wearing or they are using for the fights they are those special people can hold or can have those things and that's truly interesting and, and like i'm just happy to know also what there are people the special forces or there are like special forces of russia to protect with their like a uh, higher ranks in the in the country or the people in the country and that's so amazing also you should have in every country because 
you really have to protect your leaders or the government that you are that uh, leading the and i'm so honored to see and to know also with that zaslon is existed in russia wow this is interesting and like this is an additional information for me to know of this type of special forces in russia it because it connotes if something that you will know special forces you will like thing in your in your head that wow it's an special forces of course there's a special thing in them uh, of course the training that we have is different from the others i hope guys you enjoyed or you learned something and if you have some if you have some additional information with regards to zaslon load out or the secret the secretive special forces of russia please comment down section i would love to read and respond to you all and i hope you enjoyed watching with this one and if you do and if you really want to see the full video and connect with the owner in the description box below. If you like this video guys, same as I did, just give a massive thumbs up. Like and share, subscribe also to my channel. This is Junris Blagadag React saying Istanbul so positive guys. If you want to connect my social media account is in here. If you want to connect my second channel, it's in the description box below. Thank you so much private and spasiba to our Russian friends. Have a good day everyone. Bye bye. Mabuhay pa pa yung lahat. God bless po and see you in my next video. React.